We updated the files application to make your life easier. We recently rolled out similar updates for other applications, and they are now making their way into the files app. First, I would like to describe my setup and the way you can explore this new functionality. I have opened the same project in the left and right browser window, and I will be switching files to a new version in my right panel to show you the differences between the current files application and a new one. We will be rolling updates gradually this and next week. If you still don't see the new files interface, you can always go to the files application settings, the cogwheel icon, and see the option new files, beta. The open option will just switch it once, so the next time you visit files, you will still see the old interface. If you use the switch option, you'll permanently see the new interface in the files app. If for any reason you want to go back, you'll have to switch back. With the open option, you can try once, and the next time you open the file section, you will still see the old interface. It became a new standard at FreeCamp to launch new stuff. I decided to explain these options as you may see similar beta try interfaces in other areas of improvement. They will use the same logic. Let's explore the new files application. I will switch my right browser screen to the new files app. First, we will note that the new version of filters previously deployed in other apps but not files is updated. If you want to search and filter in subfolders, there is a new icon right here. In the old version, you have to hover your mouse and wait to see images preview, and it takes time to load. In the new interface, you can just click on the image and the standard FreeCamp image preview interface will be loaded. You can use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out, and you can also quickly see all your images. I have the same one loaded here, sorry about that. You can loop through all images in a folder without clicking each one. File name click in the old interface always opens a dedicated page. In the new interface, it will open the drawer. I need to resize my window to show it because the drawer expands, occupying entirely my tiny browser window. You can see tags added to your files in the new interfaces list view. In the old interface, for the files upload, you need to click first, and only then do you see a tiny drop zone where you can drop your files. In the new interface, you can drop your files to this folder or any other folder you want them to be uploaded. Navigation. When you click the last breadcrumb node, you can see the folder tree. The new interface allows me quickly reorganize into this folder inside this one. In the old interface, it's not possible. I can put it back here, and I can make this folder a subfolder on this one. I can search my folders as well. If you have many folders in your project, you can search and add subfolders quickly directly under the folder you want this to happen. You can also collapse and expand folders that are not available in the old interface. If you have many files and folders, pages will load much faster because we added pagination. You will no longer need to wait if you have thousands of files in a specific folder. And with pagination, you can just click to open the next screen. Inside the drawer, we support drag and drop. And if you want to load a new version of the file, you can just drag and drop it here. You can also, of course, use the Upload New Version button. You can also move your files around very quickly. If I open my directory structure, I can start moving my files and organize them very quickly. All you have to do is to click and hold a file and drop it into the folder. If I want to move a lot of files, I will use the bulk edit where I can select multiple files and then transfer them to a particular folder, or I can even create a new folder here and move my files to this directory. When inside a folder, you don't even need to expand it to drop files. You can just take a file and select where you want to move it. That's also now possible.
Let's compare interfaces to upload files in the old and new interfaces. You can see that I have to click Show Tree and select the folder I want to upload to or add a new one here. In the new interface, I can immediately add a subfolder where I need it to be or expand collapse folders if you have plenty of them. It is much easier to select a folder you want to upload files to. From here, you can drag and drop your files to upload them, or you can select them by selecting the Upload Files. The new folder. Again, it is much easier to navigate. You don't need to open the folder structure. It's already there. You can collapse. You can add a new folder with the description if you need it. You are done even without completing the form so that you can cancel it. You can add tags and followers as in the old interface. You can update descriptions for the files if needed. Thanks for watching and reach out if you see any bugs or want to suggest improvements.